hello Gemini welcome welcome to window to the soul I am Gemma the Gemini delighted as always to be reading for my fellow Gemini fam let's get some cards on the table for you this is not necessarily intended to be romantic it's not really intended to be anything specific the messages that are meant to come through will come through this might be about your family or your friends or your work or your spiritual journey or your health this could be related to anything so where i will give you ex oh this is my cue to shut up yeah <laughs> everything you need to know about this reading is in the description the cards clear we clearly want me to just crack on with this because gemini is at peace gemini doesn't need any advice we're good right all good peace you found peace i regularly tell people the the goal the ultimate aim is not happiness because nobody is entitled to perpetual happiness the ultimate aim is to be at peace with what is the good and the bad the highs and the lows you can be sad and at peace with that all wrapped up into one nice neat little parcel you can be happy and at peace with that it's not questioning it's releasing it's surrendering to what is what a beautiful vibration to open up your reading here gemini for march 2021 let's get some more cards on the table for you and see where this one takes us Oh, Book of Shadows, secret, secret. Do you have a secret? Are you keeping a lid on something? Have you gone quiet? Is there nothing more to be said? Are you forever holding your peace? Peace. You're not talking. You don't need to shout from the rooftops hey everybody i'm at peace by the way guess what i'm i'm okay i'm all right everybody just just in case anybody didn't know i'm okay everything's fine you don't need to do that is there somebody that you could be telling that to that you are choosing not to that's true surrender that means we it's not like this disingenuous i'm fine therefore i have to tell everybody very very keenly i'm fine i'm fine um the fact you don't need to kind of justify the fact that you're at peace to anybody else suggests you you really are at peace um people can think what they want it's no skin off your nose is it gemini interesting there might be for some of you a very very specific thing that you know that you are not revealing a secret your overall energy for march is the three of ones Ooh, this is what's what's what do you know you know something you know something gemini what do you know this is interesting you're certain that something okay right let's get some more cards crossing you as the king of swords it's your king it's your king so perhaps you're dismissing this very logical emotionless energy perhaps you are very much feeling your emotions allowing them to come through but you're at peace with them what lies at the root of this situation is the princess of cups okay forgiveness understanding apologies a message of love will explore it will explore all of this and clarify recent past ace of wands Ooh, nice okay well we got a party started at some point in the past on your mind oh the emperor who is this Aries energy who's on your mind Gemini 
you're dealing with a difficult person here, aren't you? Or you're refusing to deal with a difficult person. Somebody's stubborn, for sure. It's coming in in the near future. The Six of Pentacles. Success. Fabulous. Beautiful energy. I like that for you. Advice and guidance is the Six of Cups. Here's that soulmate energy that always seems to come in for Gemini. What do you need to know? The Five of Wands. Ooh, okay. Right, yeah. I think uh, I think you are intuitively recognising that a pull away is necessary because there is the potential for some chaos and trouble and strife and conflict and drama here. Feels like you are absolutely removing yourself from that because you're aware it is a possibility. There's potential for it. Hopes and fears. The Prince of Pentacles. This is the Page of Pentacles. Ah, okay. And ultimate outcome here is the Princess of Pentacles. Look at all of these pentacles. Nice, grounded, solid, stable, secure energy coming through for you there. I think somebody has something to say to you, but I d some, somebody has something to say to you, but you don't seem to have much to say yet. Interesting. Has to be said, there's quite a few court cards here. King of Swords, Princess of Cups, Page of Cups, uh, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. The Emperor is not a court card, of course. He oversees all of the court cards, um, but very much a card that represents a personification, as do the court cards. Could be that there are many people in your life right now, all voicing different things these of course could be personifications of situations this could all be one person kind of rolled up into one but i don't see you doing or saying much to be honest um signs signs who have we got here for you today um a lot of earth energy for sure um, the earth signs taurus virgo capricorn but overtly we've got here aries crowning your read aries is actually here twice it's here central energy as well taurus is here scorpio and leo are also here as well you have this sense of certainty here you've kind of got this quiet knowing going on you don't need to do anything you don't need to say anything but something's coming and you can possibly just about see it on the horizon and you're not kind of waving it in you're just sitting back with this quite it's quiet knowing is what i'm getting from you really really strongly here with with like a confidence I, I want to use the word smug. Um, I, that's not quite the right word. The, the negative connotations of that word don't quite fit the energy. But I'm, I'm struggling for a better word. So take it as it resonates. Let's get some more energy here. For Gemini, please. Yeah, look at this. The Queen of Zero fucks. Queen of Wands, beautiful. She is not coming to anybody. She's absolutely not chasing anybody or anything. She's just getting on with getting on. She's confident. She's independent. She's beautifully magnetic. She's free from the expectation, if I can speak. She is free from the expectations of others curious focused decisive she draws people to her gemini you don't have to do anything it's coming to you something is coming to you now of course i will say these as a pair yep yeah, i ship them i ship them but the emperor does just trump 
the Queen of Wands here. You're sat here, Queen of Wands, but have you met your match, Gemini? Um, this feels like a weird power play. Like a battle of wills, almost. Well, I'm not doing anything because you won't be able to help yourself. Well, I'm not doing anything either. You think I can't resist you? Well, you watch me. I'll go ahead and resist you. There's passion here. There is passion here, though. It's weird. It's weird energy. Um, what's crossing you is very logical, um, powerful, authoritative, kind of cold energy here. I think somebody is resisting you energetically, Gemini. But you know that they can't really resist you forever. So you're just going to sit back and watch them come to you. But again, you're dealing with a very difficult, stubborn person here. So yeah, battle of wills. What's going on here? The star card. Okay. Faith. Above all, all else. Hope and faith. I think you have a great degree, um, a great deal of faith in yourself and your own, what's the word, like mag mag magnetism? Are you manifesting somebody? You know, the Queen of Wands is a very spiritual, sort of magical kind of woman who, who kind of, what is going on here, Gemini? Because I have two people here that are behaving as though they could not give a damn about each other. That are kind of obsessed with each other on the down low. But stubbornness is preventing either of them from coming to each other. But weirdly, it's that is the very thing that's creating the heat and the excitement. Like a cat and mouse. Tom and Jerry kind of Ooh, funny energy, funny, funny energy. Um, please do let me know if this is resonating. What lies at the root of this situation is um, a message of love or um, awakening to love or having your eye on the prize. Um, yeah, I think you know exactly what you want to come in. And right now you're waiting for it to come in. But there's different kinds of waiting, isn't there? You know, um, an anxious, nervous waiting is like a pacing up and down, glancing. Is it coming? Is it coming? Is it coming? That's not the kind of waiting. This is just a, ugh, I'm going to sit back here. I don't even have to look. And like this, this person kind of comes up behind you and you know, you feel them. You've got a smile on your face. I knew you'd be back. I knew you'd be back. Oh, that was strong. Thank you, Spirit, for sticking a pin in that. I knew you would be back. Wow. Okay. Okay, somebody is refusing to cooperate. Yeah, you're dealing with a really difficult person here. But it's kind of, you kind of like it. It's a challenge and that makes it fun and interesting and exciting. I hope this is making sense. This must be resonating for somebody. And here's the, the, the match that was struck, the spark that was lit. There is passion here, burning, burning. Both ways, I would suggest. King of Swords, again, interesting. This person that you're dealing with has come across as the King of Swords twice now and the Emperor. You here are the Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands can hold her own, especially against the King of Swords, even though the energy here is twice over. The Emperor, however, as I said, just simply trumps the Queen of Wands. Um, so <laughs> they might not be back, but they, oh, they, it's what is going on? They want to, but it's like the stubborn. They don't want to lose. 
it's like a ha ha I win but it's kind of fun and playful it's not nasty or malicious or vindictive it's kind of sexy this is such strange energy Gemini what is going on um it's like this is a tough nut that you want to crack you want to win you want to it's like are you seducing somebody or or are they trying to seduce you and you and you're kind of feigning disinterest but my goodness me you're interested it weird 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 energy but yeah what you've got here is somebody you're dealing with somebody who is trying to be very very logical and rational and um kind of cold um but what they're hiding is this flaming rod of passion oh my god what am i tapping into gemini <laughs> anyway i'm blushing let's move on to this emperor because this is who's on your mind what's going on with this guy the four of discs stubborn wow controlling needing control demanding control but this person for all their faults and all their difficulties and all their stubbornness i think you the 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 assertiveness and the masculine qualities that this person displays whether they are male or female is irrelevant it's a bit of a turn on it's sexy i think you like the fact that this person is so bold so de decisive so direct this person sees what they want and they take it and that's kind of sexy that you wow i'm ugh. i mean there's so much about this dynamic here that i can see is kind of potentially problematic but that's not for me to judge the energy that's coming across here is you're chill, you're cool, you're good, but it's like this 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 cool, smooth, easy, relaxed veneer. But underneath the surface is this bubbling caldera of lava ready to just come bursting through. Um and we know it's inevitable. Wow, how exciting. Coming into the future here, we do have this cooperation that you're looking at here. Now we, this is an equal exchange of energies. This is like finally admitting to each other, yep, yeah, I really fancy you. I really fancy you too. This is coming together, but this does not feel as explosive as this rumbling, agitated energy that's going on here. This is Taurus energy, which is far more stable and sedate. So what's what's going are we calming down queen of discs very very calm um this could be the calm before the storm um yeah it's very grounded and stable energy and we also have this here as well coming in so so what happened to this potential eruption did it just fizzle out I don't see the explosion that we would expect with all of this. It's like we, we were approaching this climactic. Oh my goodness me, the innuendo in this reading. <laughs> and then nothing. Is that a volcano? No, it's a pyramid. It's a pyramid with the uh, tree of life coming off it. interesting everything seems to have calmed down or is about to calm down I don't, and i'm not really sure why and i don't know what else to to tell you honestly at this point let's go through the staff and see what comes through um strong strong soul connection your advice and guidance is to recognize perhaps that this is more than just a sexual thing 
Um, it is more than a sexual thing. Um, the Sun in Scorpio, card of soulmates, twin flames, past lives, if you resonate with any of those labels. If you don't, that's fine. Um, but it's intense. It's an intense, deep love. But instead of it being the passion of the fire that we see here, it's the depth of the water energy. Oh, wow. Okay, right. This was the calm before the storm because here they come here they come more court cards this is the knight of wands that fire energy rushing in impulsive fomo living in the moment life's too short for this let's do it um yeah adventurous fun charismatic this is somebody a soulmate energy coming in to sweep you off your feet um if you're not if you haven't already caught feelings, Gemini, you're about to. Um, somebody's about to. I, I think it's possible you, you, you're way past that point, though, to be fair. Um, but I think there is an intense sexual attraction here. And, and bizarrely, weirdly, that is kind of getting in the way of the true depth and connectedness of what's going on i think it's easy for both of you at some point to kind of overthink this and think maybe this is just sex it's not however but somebody possibly both of you maybe you're taking it in turns is almost treating it as though it is just lust it is just sex and it's not it's far deeper than that but that's the thing that seems to be difficult to address that this just goes far far deeper than just raw sexual attraction and chemistry there's a deep soul connection here that's kind of being not ignored but dismissed is that the same thing i think on some level you're holding back from this connection right now because you can feel the drama and the intensity it's almost like that vibe of there's a fine line between love and hate this much passion can easily flip into trouble and strife and drama if you're not quite on the same page and it's how do we keep this it, it's 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 possibly too much fire right now what i have noticed here gemini is that there is hardly any mutable energy on the table today this is nearly all cardinal and fixed now mutable energy you're mutable you're a mutable sign gemini mutable energy is the the final follow through the finishing touches you have all the ingredients here to get this party started and you have all of the ingredients here to kind of have a really awesome party but the after the finishing touches, the follow through is not really here. And I think that might be a fear here that after the initial rush of passion, what will you be left with? Or perhaps this is a, all of this is something that has previously happened to you that you're reflecting on. Perhaps there's a connection here that got started very fast and furious and then just nothing we didn't seem to there's either a fear of a lack of follow through or this is a, a situation that did not follow through either way you're at peace with this now and you're certainly keeping your lips tightly shut which is kind of rare for a gemini right <laughs> the six of wands okay too much recognition may cause trouble and strife essentially the six of wands it's another card of leo jupiter and leo it's getting what you want it's victory it's a triumphant return yeah so it could be that to welcome this energy this emperor this king of swords back into your life you're concerned that it's just going to re agitate and stir up a whole new pot of drama that you could just not that you could do without right now because you are at peace 
Interesting. Your hopes and fears here. The Prince of Pentacles is the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody coming in with a small offer. Is that what you fear? It, it, is, are you afraid that this person can offer you more? Sometimes you have to be careful what you wish for, Gemini, because when it does arrive, we're not really sure if we actually wanted it. And it's, it's a bit like that. It, this all feels like a lot of fun, but then when it gets real, you seem to be backing away. The chariot. Your, your, your fear is somebody coming towards you. And yet you have this, I knew you would be back kind of vibe going on. This confidence that, so why, why is it, why are you afraid of, I, th I think it's because it's just going to open up a whole new can of passion. And I'm not sure if you're ready for it like am i am i mentally emotionally prepared i'm at peace could i could do without all this drama right so right now it's like oh please no don't see me don't bring your drama in don't bring your heat and your passion right now actually i don't want the fire um if it's a fire sign you're dealing with which is quite possible honestly you're an air sign now fire and air hot positive amazing combination but also that explosion that we talked about with the, the volcano rumbling away ready to ready to go fireworks um be careful you don't get burned kind of thing i think this person is awesome and difficult and stubborn and exciting and sexy and fun and interesting and there is the potential here for something really kind of deep and emotional and connected but I also think it's a lot and right now maybe you just need a breather <laughs> maybe you just need to float around in your air energy because fire you will feed this person's fire being air, but they also have the potential to suck and eat away at your air, leaving you suffocating. It's a fine line, isn't it? It is a fine, fine line you have going on here. What I will say is when we talk about that fine line between love and hate, what I'm not seeing here is indifference. Indifference is, is when you know you're, you're done. Um, this amount of passion can be channeled into a positive or a negative way. But the fact that this passion exists tells me that this is this you're invested, you're, you're invested. And this other person is invested as well. Your ultimate outcome here is the princess of pentacles, which is nice energy. Um, it's, it's learning more about each other, but it's hesitant. It's cautious. It's methodical, which is certainly a lot more grounded and less intense than what we've got going on here. The sun, beautiful, more fire energy though. <laughs> Pure childlike life energy, warmth, putting the past behind you and moving on in freedom and liberation and joy. It's probably no, it is. It's the best card you could possibly have in your ultimate outcome here. I think whatever happens here, you will find a mid ground here between this, all this excitement and this peace you're striving for. I think you will find a mid ground here. Um, I think you will be able to sit in the light of the sun and you will figure out how you can feel all of this heat but still keep things kind of chill <laughs> i have no idea gemini what i've just tapped into but that was exciting and it was fun and it was interesting it was a lot a lot for sure um yeah, there's so much passion here. I think your goal here should be to try to direct it in a way that's manageable because I think you are very aware 
here that this has the potential to be a little bit more than you can handle. You've met your match here. Yeah, you've met your match. Um, power, play, games, excitement, fun, chasing, hot, cold, Tom and Jerry, cat and mouse kind of thing. Good luck. <laughs> I can't wait to read your comments. Um, I'll be back really soon. Take care.